before I get to that, because I still got to mull that over, uh, my brother's in town for Christmas and we're chit chatting and, and, and we're talking about like crime pays. It does. Uh, crime, crime pays like every single time in our society. You want to, you want to be, you want to be rich, go commit some horrible financial crimes and you'd be fine. As long as you don't commit those crimes against rich people, you commit them against the poor people and the, and the average worker, you'll be fine. Um, and the problem is, is that too many of us had like decent parents and a good upbringing that instilled like values and honesty and uh, a conscience into us. And we don't, even if we can come up, like I love coming up with schemes. Oh, I love coming up with schemes. But I never do any of them because it's wrong. <laughs> and I would feel bad, right? Because I want humanity to be better and not worse because of me. Um, I think the folks who are the most successful in this realm don't have a conscience. They're the type of guys who, in their divorce proceedings, their stories about how they broke a bedpost and then, like, beat their wives with it. You know, perhaps someone at Citadel that had that in their divorce proceedings. Um, that type of person doesn't care about you. They can't identify. They can't empathize with you. They have zero empathy. They have no conscience. They only respond to punishment. And anything they do, they'll do as long as they know they don't won't get punished or caught. So if I were to ask someone like Kenny Boy a one specific question, so I locked in a room, NDA. I don't know if it would be, if it would be particularly like related to finance or not, because we know that he's a flying piece of shit. We know that he's got, as of January last year, he sold $70 billion in stock. He has no plan in ever delivering. Uh, it might be more about how he perceives the rest of society, right? Because you have to like think of the rest of society as marks or something to be able to do what he does. Like, we're not people. We're others that are less than. And the only thing we're good for is to squeeze us for like everything we have. And so I guess it might be sort of like a Scrooge situation where you're trying to see, is there a sliver of humanity left in this clown? Or is he a net negative on society forever? Right? Does that make sense? Like, can I glean something worthwhile from him? Is there something in there? Is, is, is it just a manipulation machine that's just there to, like, lie, cheat, and steal? Or... Is there hope? I lean towards the he has n no hallmarks of humanity in his person <laughs> and, and, and less towards uh, he can be rehabilitated. Um, but I guess that's where that's where my line of questioning would go would be to see just what type of person he actually is on a personal level. Because I know all the other crap. I just, I like to know if someone's redeemable or not. And if they're not redeemable, then, you know, fuck them. <laughs> Life's too short to have to have them as a burden of society.